Welcome folks to the very first AllAndroidTabs.com tutorial. I'm adding info and tutorials weekly to this site so please check back often if you are researching tablets or have a tablet and want to learn how to use some of its functionality. Uh, today we're going to be talking about OTG USB cables. OTG stands for On The Go. Uh, with Android 3.1 update uh, we gain functionality uh, to our USB ports. Uh, this adds a lot more productivity to our device, uh, so it's important that uh, if you want to get the most out of your device that perhaps you should look into uh, getting yourself an OTG cable. Now just know that not all tablets do have a USB port, but if you check my site, uh, I do have a table there with a breakdown of which tablets do and do not have uh, ports. Uh, some of them require an adapter, uh, some of them just plain out do not have them. So. Uh, double check that if you're researching them and make sure you pick the device that will best suit your needs. Uh, now with the USB port functionality uh, what you will need is a OTG cable. Uh, here is one from Motorola. Uh, it's about twenty dollars. You can get it at a variety of different sources. Uh, if you check my site I have a link to Amazon where you can pick up the cable. Um, here is one I purchased off of eBay. Uh, this vendor that I link to on my site, allandroidtabs.com, is from China. It takes about a week and a half to get here, but the cable is only $4 and it works great. It's clear, uh, which may actually be better for you if you're putting this in a bag. Uh, as you can see, it has a micro uh, slot at one end and has a female USB at the other end. Uh, you can also add USB ports uh, or hubs, I should say, uh, to your device. So you can hook up multiple uh, USB type devices. You can hook up a keyboard and a mouse wired um, and gain functionality. The uh, USB port in a Zoom seems to have enough power to function all those devices, uh, including even a camera I had hooked up one time. Uh, we are now going to hook up a device, uh, a USB trackball keyboard type combo. Uh, which uh, comes with this dongle right here. Uh, you hook this up to the OTG cable and activate the keyboard and it has functionality. Uh, I've also hooked up a variety of keyboards and wireless mouses onto this thing and they all work without having to install drivers or anything like that. So uh, again we've gained a lot of functionality here. So I'm going to hook up my keyboard trackball combo and I'm going to hook up a camera and I'm going to show you how you can offload some pictures that may be stored in your camera and that your camera may be filling up and you need to uh, get rid of some pictures. Uh, you can store them temporarily here on, on your Android device. Okay, I've got everything hooked up to the OTG cable, which is this cable right here. Uh, this is hooked up to a USB hub where I have my camera and a wireless dongle for this keyboard uh, mouse ball track combo. Uh, what we are going to do is import some of the pictures that are stored onto this camera here, move them over to the Android device um, where you can send them to your friends, put them on Facebook, do whatever you want with them. Also you can free up some storage uh, on your camera as well. Okay, we've got everything hooked up. I've got my HDMI cable hooked up to my monitor. Uh, that will be another tutorial unto itself. Um, I just want to show you how much more productive you can be with a monitor and a USB device hooked up. As you can see by the I and the O here, I've got my mouse cursor. It's got a nice little blue hue around it so you can keep track of it and know where it is. Uh, one thing I do like about this mouse trackball combo, um, again I provide you a link of where you can purchase this device um, at allandroidtabs.com under the accessories link. Uh, is a trackball speed and the mouse speed are, are very quick. Other devices, the mouse tends to be really slow when you're moving it across the screen there, but this is spot on perfect. Uh, what we're going to do now, I just want to show you. Uh, here we are, large screen, mouse, keyboard. Uh, let's open up the Quick Office. Let's look at opening, uh, how about we start a new document? And just to show you how, how nice this is. You could uh, theoretically do some pretty nice documents with this uh, if you wanted to. It adds a great deal of functionality to, uh, to the device. Uh, now that I've shown you how the keyboard works, let's just 
discard the changes here. Let's go back to our home screen. I'm going to turn the camera on now and you'll see what happens here. And once I turn the camera on, uh, I get this screen here which says images and videos. Uh, I get the option here to import these pictures from my Kodak camera. So I click on this. It shows me the pictures I have on file uh, within the camera storage. Uh, if I want to deselect or select others uh, or just select a certain group, you can do that here. Uh, right now all three of them are selected by default so I'm going to import those. In the upper right hand corner I've got the option to import. Clicking on import you get a progress bar popping up. Once all the pictures are imported they will show up in your gallery uh, as in, in a folder called import. Uh, they are there now. Let me go back to the home screen. Again I'm using my keyboard mouse combo here clicking on gallery I've got imported number th three pictures click on there and there are my pictures they now are, are on my device alright folks that kinda wraps it up as far as the uh, USB cables and what you can do with it uh, as you can see we've gained quite a bit of functionality with uh, Android 3.1 we have now have the ability to use wireless keyboard mouse type combos uh, we also have the ability to look at the storage in our camera and offload pictures uh, to share with our friends or just to free up some space uh, one thing you do not have is the ability to look at thumb drives or hook up an external hard drive via USB port uh, that functionality is not available to us I'm not sure if it will be uh, maybe in a future update we'll get that type of fun functionality if so that just will add um, even more reasons why we should be buying Android versus uh, other types of tablets. Uh, please check my allandroidtabs.com website. Uh, I hope to add more tutorials and tell your friends about this site. Uh, if you're just researching or looking at how to increase the functionality of your device, uh, check back often. Till later. Bye-bye.